So here's an old train bridge and uh, I think it was originally designed that the uh, a large portion of it farther down that way was designed to rotate like that and I think that was to make way for river boats. So I think this area here along here is where it would separate however it looks like the rails have been changed I guess over the years so right now the rails are not configured in such a way where it would be able to rotate So here is a, uh, a large gear and there's rollers there as well. So I'll see if I can get down there and locate the area where it was uh, driven. I think the actual motor or whatever it was that turned it, I think that's gone but well, maybe, maybe I can see what's, what's left. So here's a shot of a lot more of those rollers. And I think I found the area where it was driven. So over here, there's a small gear that looks like it was the one that was turning the big gear. And then I turn the camera up here. There's a shaft that goes up. And then there's a, another gear. But I can't see that there's anything that was turning. Like, I don't know what was turning this gear. So I think when this one turns, the shaft turns. and then it drives the small gear. So I think there's maybe a component missing here. I'm not sure how they, how they turned this one. I'll put the camera up there, move it around a bit. So there's also a shaft that goes, looks like it runs along the bridge, goes along the bridge. See that shaft there? I'm not sure what that shaft was doing. Maybe it was a lock. I think further over there. See, it looks like there's a component missing. And there's, each of these rollers has a, a short axle. So anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video. These spikes, I think they slowly pull out over the years. You look at this one. And then this one is not nearly as much. At least that's what I think happens. See this one? There's a gap under there. And this one doesn't have so much gap.